Hello everyone and welcome. As you all know, it's basically Halloween time. Or if you're Disney, let's dress up everything as Christmas time in the Disney parks for no apparent reason. And what better way to celebrate this than to talk about facts of all the Tower of Terrors. And I mean all of them. Including, well, Gardens of the Galaxy because... Not just, just because. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into things quickly with number one. Now, if you didn't know already, Guardians of the Galaxy, Mission Breakout, changes to Monsters at the Dark every night during Halloween time. The interesting thing about this, however, is that it's the only operating attraction in any Disney park to ever do this during the hours of operation in the park. The only other attraction that does this, well, at least used to do this, was Tower of Terror Late Checkout, which actually opened like a year ago, which is a long time. Rides such as Ghost Galaxy and Haunted Mansion Holiday take a couple days to sometimes even weeks to change over, but not, not Garns Galaxy. It only takes about 15 minutes to make the complete transition over from Breakout to Monsters. A majority of that 15 minutes though is actually used to redressing the cast and covering up the monsters that have quote unquote escaped in the ride. Now for this one, we kind of have to fly around the world over to Hong Kong Disneyland to Mystic Manor. Now, if you've ever been to Mystic Manor, which if you haven't, I really advise you should, when you're walking through the queue line, you're gonna pass by a really, really interesting photo. And in that photo, you're gonna see a group of people who identify as the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. Well, this guy right here, Harrison Hightower, owns the Tokyo Disney Sea Tower of Terror, otherwise known as the Hotel Hightower. While this guy, Lord Henry, owns the Mystic Manor. Both of these people go around the world collecting items and bringing them back to their estate. Now, the main difference between the two is that Lord Henry is extremely respectful and kind toward all of his findings and collections, while Hightower burns them with his cigar butt and ultimately pisses them off. So lesson learned kids, don't be a jerk to extremely cursed idols you find in the middle of the forest unless you want the last 15 minutes of your life to go like I'm sure all of us know that Florida's Tower Chair is in fact the original and it opened back in 1994 and it was made for Hollywood Studios yada 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 but did you know on the first opening day of the tower it literally only had one drop I'm not joking here, it literally has one drop. If, if we look at a POV back then in 1994, we would see that it goes into the elevator shaft and drops once, and that's, and that's it. Now before you go out and start calling out Disney on like their one drop ideology or whatever, you have to remember that back in 1994, Thrill in Disney was very, very, very different. The biggest rides they had at the time was Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, Matterhorn Mountain, and Splash Mountain, with the biggest drop being 50 feet. The one drop in Tower of Terror was 130 feet, almost triple the size of Splash Mountain. So that first year of operation was kind of like Disney testing out the waters a little bit, but the next year they added two drops, and then a couple years later they added randomization, and we, you already know that. <laughs> being the first and most complex Tower of Terror to ever be built by Disney, one would expect Florida's Tower of Terror to be extremely expensive, and don't get me wrong, it really is, clocking in at $233 million adjusted for inflation. But did you know, Paris's Tower of Terror tops out at $15 million more dollars when converted over from euros and adjusted for inflation. What in the world? $15 million more expensive than the original Tower of Terror. But how could this be? Well, over in Paris, there are different building regulations, and over there, instead of using steel to build the Tower of Terror, they were forced to use concrete, which is much more expensive than steel. Now, $60 million might not sound like an impressive feat for building a, an attraction, but take into consideration that Florida's Tower of Terror is the biggest and most massive Tower of Terror to ever be constructed in any Disney park compared to Paris's and unfortunately ours, which is the smallest and is a copy and paste of ours. So it's a little mind boggling that it's 60 million more dollars for copy and paste smaller Tower of Terror. Now here's something I know the haters of Gardens of the Galaxy will like. Gardens of the Galaxy Mission Breakout and Monsters of the Dark are exactly the same ride. 
That's right, right after the first drop, they are exactly the same. They go up and down the same, they drop the same, the doors open exactly the same, the flash picture takes everything. It's it's crazy. It's crazy how the music and the lighting and the, the ride sequences, like the screens, can change the ride so much and influence it. It really is. I mean, there's a video down below if you want to watch it, but really, it, it is truly amazing. Now, this one isn't really a fact if you've actually been to Tokyo Disney Sea and you've been on Tower of Terror over there, but if you haven't, this is a really, really, really cool one. Right between the pre show building and the lobby where the crushed elevator is, there's a secret room that no other Tower of Terror has. Not the one in Disney World, not the one in our, just nowhere. Nowhere has it. It's this room where you enter kind of a white room and then they have a poster in the middle and you have a cast member explaining to you the story and how the collector became a collector and a bunch of other stuff. It's really, really cool. Now, update, I found a video. I'm so surprised Attraction Magazine actually got it. It was like four years ago, but it's only a little clip. He doesn't put the whole thing. Please, someone translate it. I'll be really glad to see what they actually say. But anyways, for the sake of time, we're going to move forward. Basically, it's a unique room. No other tower turret has it. It's really cool. It's really nicely themed. I love it so much. Really should check it out. Anyways, number seven. I'm sure all of us know that Tower of Terror over in Hollywood Studios is 199 feet tall, you know, to in order to avoid uh, having the blinking red light on top, yada yada yada, everyone knows that. But for some reason, lots of people writing articles and recording YouTube videos keep saying Disneyland and Disneyland Paris's Tower of Terrors are also 199 feet tall, which is crazy. Anyways, for the Tokyo Disney Sea Tower of Terror, I don't really have the exact height on that since neither Disney, the Oriental Land Company, or Maihama have released any official information about the attraction. But I'm very sure that the Tower of Terrors in both Disneyland and Cali are most definitely around 183 feet. Now I say around since Disneyland Paris's version sits a little shorter at 180 feet and it has something to do with the construction codes in Paris and whatever, but how do I even know that California Adventures and Paris's Towers of Terrors are shorter? Well, not only are the two towers built almost identically the same, but also Disney Parks themselves literally confirmed the height of California's tower. By the way, the picture from the article and the video are from sources I really trust, so don't worry, no hate toward them, no drama, don't worry, I like them both. And finally, for the last fact of the day, I want to do something that really blows your mind. Tower of Terrors, all of them, not just one, all of them are not the fastest elevator in the world. Oh my god. It's because they're not considered elevators. <laughs> because of the fact that uh, they're in a theme park and because they don't exactly transport anything anywhere. Sorry, Twilight Zone. The Guinness World of Records doesn't really exactly consider them an elevator, but let's just say they were considered an elevator for this video and still, they still would not be the fastest elevator in the world. They actually would be considered the second fastest elevator in the world. In July of 2016, Japan opened up a 121-story building that had an elevator that sported the speed of 45.8 miles an hour. Incredibly fast for an elevator. Holy moly! That's almost 7 miles an hour faster than Tower of Terror. I just, just, just wrap your mind about that. Now before you go moping around, I got one last awesome fact for you, and that is Tower of Terror is the fastest accelerating elevator in the world that only carries people. <laughs> no other elevator, even the fastest one, can beat this. Uh, acceleration and speed are very different things, just, just wanted to clarify that. And with the limited information I have, I can calculate that Tower of Terror within its first second travels at about 26 miles an hour in its first second. That is fairly fast. To put things into perspective, Rocking Roller Coaster, which travels at 57 miles an hour in 2.8 seconds, in its first second only travels at 20 miles an hour. So for my calculations, if you were to put Tower of Terror and Rocking Roller Coaster next to each other, within the first second, Tower of Terror would be traveling 6 miles an hour faster than Rocking Roller Coaster. That's going to be a really weird sight on the Rocking Roller Coaster. Now. Please correct me if I'm wrong, be uh, any Imagineer, any person, because I really don't know. I'm taking very basic numbers. I don't have much information to work off of. I don't have wind resistance. I don't have weight. I don't have any of the other stuff. Very hard to tell. 
So, you know, very basic numbers, but these should be close enough. <laughs> so please, if anyone, if I'm wrong, please tell me, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> to keep it underneath three hours, let's just compare this to the fastest elevator in the world, and that would put Tower Terror at 26 miles an hour within its first second, Rocking Roller Coaster at 20 miles an hour within its first second, and the fastest elevator in the world in Shanghai at 1.8 miles in a second. Yeah, <laughs> very fast as you can see. Fastest elevator in the world, very fast, very fast. Well, that's basically the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, I, I really do. It took me quite a while to do it, actually. Sorry, I planned this for a while ago, and then, boy, this, I hope this is better than my other Tower Terror video I did. It was, that was really, that was really bad. People didn't like that, I didn't like it either. I posted it anyway. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna post vlogs and live streams and a bunch of stuff on here. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys subscribe. You liked the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.